Hey, I saw this question on a website and I thought I'd share it with you guys because I think it's a really good question. So, can you find the remainder when 2 to the power of 100 plus 3 to the power of 100 plus 4 to the power of 100 plus 5 to the power of 100 is divided by 7? Now, if you guys don't know modular notation or mod notation, I'll teach it to you now because I don't want to say that multiple times during the video. If you have A mod B, that just means find the remainder when A is divided by B. So if you have, for example, 37 mod 7, that means find the remainder when 37 is divided by 7. So since 35 is a multiple of 7, then the remainder is 2. Okay. So you can split this up into 2 to the power of 100 mod 7 plus 3 to the power of 100 mod 7. Oops, mod 7 plus 4 to the power of 100 mod 7 plus 5 to the power of 100 mod 7 and that should give you the same answer as taking this entire thing mod 7 so let's tackle each of each one of these separately let's start with 2 to the power of 100 so you can write any integer as n and you can write it as a sum of a number that's divisible by 7 plus the remainder so this will be divisible by 7 and this will be the remainder. Now let's wait, remainder. Let's let's try applying different functions to this. So if we multiply this number by say m, m times the integer will be m times a plus m times b. Now m times a is still divisible by 7 because 7 is a factor of a. But m times b will will mean the remainder will be multiplied by b. So remainder multiplied by b. Sorry, multiplied by m. Yeah, because we multiplied it by m. And what if you take n to the power of m? Well, you can expand this out using the binomial theorem. And you can go look that up if you need help with that. But it'll be a to the power of m plus something, something, something. And the last term will be b to the power of m. Now all these terms don't matter, including the first term, because they're all divisible by 7, because they all contain a. Sorry, this is b to the power of m. Wait a sec. b to the power of m. Yeah. So the remainder will be taken to the power of m. So, whoops. Remainder to the power of m. Okay. So, What's a remainder that doesn't change when you take it to the power of something else? Probably 1, right? 1 to the power of anything, anything, just equals to 1. So, since we're dividing by 7, remember this is, here, I'll copy this for you guys. Oh, no. Okay. So since you're dividing by 7, what's what's a power of 2 that's, that has remainder 1 when you divide by 7? Probably 8, right? It's the smallest power. So 2 to the power of 3 mod 7 is just 1. So if you take 2 to the power of 3 to any power, so 2 to the power of 3 to any power, the remainder will be 1. So, since we have 2 to the power of 100, let's go 100 divided by 3, because when you uh, expand that in, you get 2 to the power of 2, sorry, 3m. So, that will give you 33 and 1 third. So, m will be, let's make it 33. So, 2 to the power of 3 times 33 is 99, mod 7 will be equal to 1. Well, we have 2 to the power of 100, so we need to multiply this by 2 again, right? And multiplying that by 2 will multiply the remainder by 2. So 2 to the power of 100 mod 7 will be equal to 2. And that's the first part of this problem. So let's tackle the second part. Um, oh yeah, remember, if you have 4 to the power of 100, 4 is just 2 times 2, so 2 times 2 
to the power of a hundred, which is two to the power of a hundred squared. So if it's two to the power of a hundred squared, that means the remainder also gets squared. So four to the power of a hundred, which is just two to the power of a hundred squared, mod seven, will be equal to this remainder, two squared, which is four. All right, that's the second part. Now for the now for three to the power of a hundred and five to the power of a hundred, it's going to be a little bit harder. So my advice, this is what I did. Three to the power of a a hundred can be rewritten as seven minus four to the power of a hundred. Now if you expand this out, you'll get seven to the power of a hundred minus seven oops seven to the power of ninety nine times four blah 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 etc until your last term which is four to the power of a hundred. Now notice how all these terms contain seven, right? So they're all divisible by seven. So your only remainder is four to the power of a hundred. So three to the power of a hundred mod seven equals four to the power of a hundred mod seven. And we already calculated that four to the power of, oops mod seven. I missed that. Four to the power of a hundred mod seven equals four. So three to the power of a hundred mod seven. Just gonna copy this. It's not good to be lazy. Okay. Three to the power of a hundred mod seven will just be equal to four, since it's equal to this. And for the last part, we'll do the same for five. So five to the power oops, five to the power of a hundred mod seven can be rewritten as what's five? Five is just seven minus two, right? Seven minus two to the power of a hundred mod seven. And if you expand that out again, you get seven to the power of a hundred minus something something something, which won't really matter. And at the end, you get plus two to the power of a hundred. And all this stuff is again divisible by seven, so you don't have to worry about it. So five to the power of a hundred mod seven is just equal to two to the power of a hundred mod seven. And we already did that calculation. Two to the power of a hundred mod seven was two, I believe. Yeah, two to the power of a hundred mod seven is two. So five to the power of a hundred mod seven will also be equal to two. Equals two. So now you have all your parts. Three to the power of a hundred mod seven equals four. So Oh yeah, mod seven equals four. Five to the power of a hundred mod seven equals two. Two to the power of a hundred mod seven equals two. Oops, two to the power of a hundred. And what's the last one? Four to the power of a hundred mod seven is equal to four. Oops, mod seven. So, as we discussed before, taking all of this mod seven is the same as just taking this mod seven plus this mod seven plus this mod seven plus this mod seven. So, if you just add all these remainders together, it will be the same as taking the entire number, the sum of these, and dividing by 7. So, your remainder is the remainder of your original, let's see, your remainder of this is just equal to the sum of the remainders. So, oops. Just a sec. Okay, so that mod 7 is equal to all of these added together. So 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4, right? That's what we calculated. Which is equal to what's 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4? 12. And you know that 12 mod 7, what's the remainder when you divide 12 by 7? Well, that's just 5. And that is your final answer. The remainder when you divide 2 to the power of 100 plus 3 to the power of 100 plus 4 to the power of 100 plus 5 to the power of 100, oops, mod 7, by 7, you'll get 5. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.